York Times is reporting the DOJ is considering allowing Boeing to enter into another agreement to get out of facing criminal charges. But attorneys representing the plane crash victims family says no decision has been made and they're hoping the DOJ listens to their clients. The DOJ needs to defend the public. New reporting Friday by the New York Times says Boeing may avoid criminal charges. I want to communicate to the DOJ, motivate this perpetrator to correct their behavior. Nadia Molaron's daughter died in the brand new Boeing 737 MAX jet that crashed in Ethiopia five years ago. She and other victims' families sent this letter to the DOJ Wednesday, calling for prosecution and a $24 billion fine. They need to have consequences for their actions in order to change their behavior. This same week, CEO Dave Calhoun was grilled by senators and defended the company. Why haven't you resigned? Senator, I'm I'm sticking Boeing this previously I'm avoided criminal charges the after the two deadly 737 MAX 8 crashes that killed 346 people by entering into an agreement to overhaul its compliance program for three years. But January's door plug blowout happened just before the agreement expired, and now prosecutors are deciding whether or not to revive those criminal charges. Normally, if a criminal defendant negotiates a sweetheart deal, but then violates the conditions of that deal, DOJ would bring the hammer down. That said, Boeing is not a normal defendant. This is a company that's critical to our economy and also national security. You can bet DOJ is taking that into account. Mark Lindquist, an attorney representing some of the crash victims' families, says the DOJ is likely weighing Boeing's economic and national security impacts. The DOJ has three options, a trial, force a guilty plea, or do a deferred prosecution, which would appoint a federal monitor to oversee safety protocols. The problem with the third option is that it isn't going to feel like accountability and justice to the victim families or to the public. The DOJ declined to comment and the agency has until July 7th to make its decision. In the newsroom, Julie Calhoun, King 5.